Hi and welcome to another session. In this video, we will be covering one more accounting term. We've already covered a few in our previous videos. Uh, you can check out our playlist accounting terms and the link of all those videos would also be provided in the description box below. The term that we are covering today is trade payables. The meaning of this term in this video has been explained as per the CBSC syllabus. There is a slight difference in this term in IGCSC and A-levels. A separate video has been made for that. The link of that video would also be provided in the description box below. So, what do you mean by the term trade payables? Well, the term trade payables is a sum of creditors and bills payables. Let's understand both these terms. Creditor is a person, firm or entity from whom the business has bought goods on credit. You also need to understand the term goods over here. The term goods refers to items that are bought by the business to be sold for the purpose of generating revenue. So buying an asset cannot be referred as buying goods. Now one thing here you need to note is that the meaning of the term creditor in accounting is slightly different than the meaning that is there in English. In accounting we will use the word creditor only for the vendor from whom we buy goods on credit. Suppose I needed a piece of furniture for my office and I have bought it on credit for my business. I will not be using the term creditor for that person. So in accounting, the word creditor is restricted to a person from whom we buy raw material, inventory or goods on credit. In a business, there are a lot of credit transactions. So you buy goods on credit or raw material on credit, you might buy furniture or any other asset on credit or say example you buy machinery on credit i will be using the term creditor solely for a person firm entity from whom i have bought goods raw material inventory or stock on credit let's take an example suppose i am in the business of making potato chips and i buy potatoes on credit from a supplier and I also buy a machinery to make these potato chips on credit from another person. So I'm going to use the word creditor only for the person from whom I bought potatoes on credit. I will not be using the term creditor in my books of accounts for the person from whom I bought machinery on credit. The machinery bought here is an asset. What is the accounting treatment whenever we buy asset on credit will be dealt in future videos. As of now, I just want you to remember that in accounting, the term creditor is used solely for the person from whom we buy goods, stock, raw material on credit. I hope you're clear with the term creditor. Let's move on to the next term, that is bills payable. Bills payable means a bill of exchange accepted by a person or an enterprise, the amount of which will be paid on a specified date. And what do you mean by a bill of exchange? Bill of exchange is a written order that binds a party to pay a fixed sum of money to another party at a specified date. In simple terms, bills payable can be understood as a written document that creates an obligation upon the person who buys on credit to make this payment on a specified date. Let's summarize the session. So what do you mean by trade payables? Well, trade payables is the sum of creditors and bills payables. We would be doing the topic bills of exchange in the future videos. So the term bills payable would be covered there in more detail. In case you have any doubts about any of the terms that has been covered in this video 
or any other thing that you have not understood, you can leave your doubts or your questions in the comment section below. I hope you found this video useful. If you liked it, then please give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel. And do remember to press the bell button to stay notified about all our future videos. Stay safe, stay blessed. Bye-bye.